this goes against everything you've ever been taught <laughs> after you put down a brand new deck or floor, whatever you want to call it. Fix and drill holes in it. Uh, yeah, so here's my, my plan. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, I'll go show you here in a second. Uh, what I'm going to do is each one of these black marks indicate um, where my, um, what do you call it, uh, where one of my stringers are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes actually a little further in instead of right up against the stringers. So therefore the stuff runs downhill and then expands upward like this. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a big uh, scary thing to, to do this right now. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. So that's what I'm going to work on here in a few minutes. I'll uh, videotape it as I go. But let me go show you the, uh, the materials that I'm going to be using. Okay, here's the plan. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, foam, which I got from Aero Marine. It comes in package uh, part A and part B. Uh, this can't be any easier to mix together. It's 50-50, which it says measure each component equal parts by volume, pour into two grits into cup and, or into a together and mix uh, thoroughly. Pour into the cavity and may expand as much as 30 times the original volume and it can exert considerable pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two holes in each one of these cavities. One to pour into and one for the air to come out of. Um, so uh, I've got my A and B mixing cup. So we'll, that's how we'll measure it. Uh, we'll measure, we're going to start with uh, probably uh, one quart at a time just to kind of see what happens. Um, so that'll make two quarts. Um, and then we'll pour it into our cavity. We'll pick our biggest cavity and see, you know, kind of what happens. But then I've got this cup, which will mix the two together. So if we make one quart of each, that makes it'll be two quarts altogether. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to probably do one quart to start with. Yeah, just to kind of see where it goes, uh, because that's actually a lot. Uh, and we'll mix that together with our mixing stick, and then we'll pour in through one of our holes that we cut We'll stick this in there and then pour in and then let it do its thing. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a few holes. We saved the plug. That's a key thing. Can't uh, let that plug fall down in there. That would be a bad thing. Okay, so that's one down. Got a whole lot more to go. I'm actually gonna go up there and drill another hole. And then uh, we'll go jack the bow way up in the air and pour in that way. So this will be our, our exit hole. So when we see um, foam come out of here, we know we're done. All right, so that's one, two, three, and I had the inevitable happen right there. I lost the plug down inside the, the hole. So what I'm gonna do, I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, if by chance I can't get it back out, you'll just cut another plug out of, um, you know, out of wood, the leftover wood, and the foam will encapsulate that thing anyway. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me a little stick with some, uh, put some sticky on the end of it, maybe some tape or something like that. I can see it down there. I'm gonna see if I can hit it and pull it up through there and my battery died. Um, DeWalt batteries don't last very long, just so you know. Okay, I think we're ready for our first pour. Um, got the uh, holes cut where I need. Um, not sure that the funnel is going to be absolutely needed. I'm going to have it there just in case, but it doesn't want to stay in the hole. And I have a feeling I'm just not going to be able to get it to work right. So what I'm going to try to do is when I mix, once I do, I'm going to squeeze it together and pour into the hole. See if we can hit it. Um, I've got my latex gloves ready because this stuff sticks to everything. So you wanna make sure you got it ready. So don't get it on you know, your boat parts that you don't want it. Doesn't matter if it gets on the decks, we can just sand it right back off. So what I'm gonna do is, um, because the front of this, my stringers go up and create that cross pattern, is that it's all open around this area. So I'm gonna pour that first part first and let it fill up. And I'm gonna do a whole quart in there and see what it does. Um, 
and then uh, we'll just we'll move backwards. I'll pour into there and uh, let it run back this way. So I'm gonna go jack the nose up, and then we'll mix up and see what happens. I actually scratched the first pour as far as being the nose up. I'm actually gonna do it with the nose down because I want it to fill that first portion and then expand around this back side. Once I get that done, then we'll we'll lift the the bow up. So let's go ahead and mix up a, a set of this and uh, see how it goes. Okay, I have two or one quart of each, A and B. Now what I recommend is, this came out kind of weird looking, the B side, so I shook it up a little bit to kind of agitate it because it was kind of two colored and it had swirls in it. That, uh, when I shook it up, it kind of got a little bit better as far as looked like it needed to be mixed. So we're fixing to pour both of those into this cup and then mix it up with that mixing stick and I'm gonna pour in said hole up there. So uh, I'm gonna try to set the camera down and record. Uh, it says to mix for about 15 to 20 seconds and uh, we'll just kind of keep, uh, keep an eye on it because I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I've done it before, but this is a lot to mix together. So uh, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'll press record whenever uh, I go to pour and we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm mixing it up. Get in a good mixture in here. We'll go ahead and step up and get ready. Sorry if you can't see me. It's already expanding. wasn't too bad whatsoever but I can see it coming up quick it's fixing to come out of the hole look at that Think uh, quart was a little too much? I do. Wow. That was interesting. Okay, so that's done. trying to listen for anything weird that's going on. I hear popping and stuff, but I think that's this stuff on top. It's hot. I didn't see it come around to these holes. Okay, so we got to make a mental note of how much and how fast. I'm telling you, it's hot out here, and that stuff went off within 20 seconds. So, I guess we'll get ready for this next one here. I'm just doing a quart at a time. There's no way I'm going to pull off two quarts. So this should harden up here in just a second. I'll pull it out of here. Let's see what it's like in here. Golly, it's already hard. <clears throat> Alright, we'll give it a few minutes here and see what happens. Alright, I knocked off the little mushroom cap to kind of see what was what. This is way different than the stuff that you take out of your boats, guys, uh, as far as what was original in there. This is more of a plasticky consider uh, consistency. It's um. There's no way it could absorb water. Um, being closed cell, this must be a lot different. But I broke it open, and the heat coming off of this thing is incredible because of the two-part uh, two-part process, and uh, that's what makes it it work. So it looks like it filled the cavity perfectly. Um, so I'm happy with that. That's the main thing. So uh, I'm gonna mix up some more, and we're gonna try this back cavity. I got the notice the nose way up in the air. Um, so let's see if we can't get this to, to happen. I got the uh, two front compartments done. 
uh, had a little delay. Two things, uh, batteries died on the uh, wonderful DeWalt drill and they were saying overheated uh, because it's so freaking hot out here. They weren't, wouldn't charge so I couldn't do anything and of course I don't own a uh, corded drill. Um, so second thing is, uh, part A burns like fire when it gets in your eye. Um, I've been wearing safety goggles but for some reason whenever you pour it in it was glopping in and one little droplet found its way up underneath my safety goggles and hit me square in my left eye and I tell you I thought I was gonna die so it's all good now uh, I can still see um, I've been drilling some of these these pucks out um, I could not get the pucks out or the one that I lost up there so I'll just it's it's forever entombed in the front of the boat so we're fig I've just finished drilling these two holes. We got some battery juice now. So actually I'm gonna mix up a uh, two quarts, which uh, it took basically two and a half quarts to do each side. Uh, this is a lot bigger, so I'm gonna mix up two quarts. It seems like you get a lot less waste if you can, if you can really make it happen by doing a, a bigger mix. Um, and I did, and I also screwed up and mixed the part A and part B. I mixed them up and it started going off. So. I had to do two quarts to make that happen, and it seemed to work out pretty good. So, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't uh, videotape that, uh, you know, when I was doing it. But man, I tell you, this stuff goes off so quick in this heat, uh, it just it's scary. So I'll see if I can't videotape this this time. Okay, I have part A and B poured together, or actually mixed separately, and now we're going to grab our trusty mixing stick. And pour A in, and pour B in, and get ready to mix because this stuff goes off quick. Now it's a little cooler because the sun's starting to set, but I'm going to make sure to mix this stuff really good, and you can hear when it when it changes. It gets this weird sound to it that you know when it's okay and it'll also start foaming up like it's doing right now. There we go. That's it. Just let it do its thing. And then it'll keep foaming up inside this bucket a little bit. This seems to be kind of the waste that really bothers me is that you have so much of this. I guess if you were foaming a big area, you could scrape it out and, and get uh, you know get some of it out. But also, second thing I've noticed, don't let this get truly hard in here. Or you'll never get it out. This stuff bonds, like I said, to anything. So uh, <clears throat> we'll let that set up. Let's see how much it fills. And then uh, we'll pour some more in that first one until it fills up. All right, what I've done now is I've mixed, or I've actually switched to just doing uh, one quart instead of two quarts because this filled up quite a bit. So uh, we're going to pour in now a quart and see what it does. I'm afraid we're not going to have enough foam. It's a lot of waste when you're dealing with this. A lot of waste. And uh, from what I figured and calculated, we'd be right at it with 10 gallons. So we'll, we'll see. This should fill the rest of this compartment pretty much the rest of the way. It helps if you don't miss the hole. Trusty flashlight. Let's see what ah look at there. It flowed to the back just like we wanted. It's coming up. Let's see if it fills all the way. I got the feeling that was not quite enough. Yep, it's going to stop right there. So that is three quarts. No, 
Yeah, three quarts. Right at the, oh, golly, we are right there. And it didn't get it. Okay, see it filled up all the way to there on up here, so that means that it's got it, but apparently there's some... Oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to do here. You know what, I'll probably mix up a little bit and just pour it down in that hole. See what happens. But in the meantime, while that's kicking off completely, we're going to mix up a big batch here. Another two quarts and drop it in there. All right, I decided to drill another hole, and I'm glad I did. We're actually, oh, let me get my light here. We're actually about four inches down right there. So I need to uh, pour a little bit more into this one to get full and total expansion. Matter of fact, I'll probably just drill another hole up there. A good way to find out if you've actually filled the cavity or not um, is by putting your hand on the the uh, wood, it'll get hot. It's really warm. Um, yeah, both sides of these are very, very warm. I poured a little bit more in there and let it pookie out. Um, seems like when it forces itself out like this, it doesn't, it's not quite as strong. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a weird con con consistency. I'm gonna save this piece and kind of see, because that's exactly what this looks like. We're gonna pack that full of peanut butter and then put our plug back in it here in a little while, but um, it's kind of interesting. I'm wondering if I didn't mix it good enough or whatever else. Too late now, so it's no big deal. We're kind of learning as we go, but I can tell you, this is nice and warm on either side, so that means that this, this swelled up right up against the deck, which we wanted. And then this one, I've got this is on either side of the fuel tank. I only did two holes and it swelled up pretty good right here, but it didn't go back to here. So uh, we'll see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour into here and put a board over it so it forces it to come up to here. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, uncle for the night. Um, it's getting dark pretty quick. And uh, I've done everything up to right here. And I'm out of mixing buckets, I'm out of sticks, I'm out of patience with the drill not recharging. So uh, I'm gonna let the drill bit, the, the drill batteries, um, God, I'm so tired, I'm messing up my words. Let the, the uh, batteries charge overnight. So all we'll have left to do is this compartment back here on either side, and then the long runner up either side. So I've still got, quite a bit of uh, goo left I think I miscalculated so learning a lot about this stuff um, you know how to put it in and and so on and so forth and I'm thinking you know hindsight I probably should have instead of drilling a hole in the forward and the back of these I should have done two holes up at the top one on, on left either side so when you pour it in it runs to the back and then you know fills up the cavity but uh, I think I've got a pretty good fill I can tap and you can hear the difference between where there's bad spots and there's good spots so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's, you know, I, I'm sure it can't be perfect, but, you know, it's, uh, you can't see underneath the deck, so you just kind of take it for what it is. So, uh, seems like it filled it up good. The, the top of the, the, uh, the deck got warm in all places. So, uh, let me see if it's still warm out right here. Yeah, it's warm. You can't see my hand, but I'm holding it on here. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm done for the night. I'm gonna go uh, clean up, take a shower. Um, this foam gets everywhere. This is gonna be a major cleanup tomorrow. I'm about to resand the deck um, uh, completely just to get all the foam residue off. I mean, this stuff sticks to everything, and it does not come off your hands very easily. You got to use acetone. I've been using uh, surgical gloves, but they tend to tear the fingers out of them when you're working with them. So, anyway, that's it. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. I will see if we can't get the rest of the, pour the foam poured and then start laying down the uh, chop strain on the deck maybe get a at least a layer down I really want to at least get one layer down on this deck before the end of this weekend so if we have any rain and this cover leaks which it does uh, it drips a little bit it doesn't drip on the raw wood I'm actually you know once we get the chop strand down I can take a garden hose to this deck and we'll be okay so I just want to make sure I get all this done get the plugs in 
and stuff. So we'll I'll get up really early in the morning and see what I can do and uh, just see how far we get. I think with good batteries, I can get a good ways.